Yo guys, so welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make low poly cars inside a blender. So I hope you enjoy this video and make sure to like and subscribe. Cheers. Yo boys, so welcome back. Um, well, in the computer now. So let's hop in. So first off, make sure that you have a reference image downloaded for a car. Um, I'll leave one down below if you can't find any, but yeah, I just searched up car blueprint on Google and I got one. Okay, cool. So first off, you're going to go into the, uh, into it, uh, select everything, delete it, and then go image reference. Okay, cool. You click on it, load reference image, and there you go. So now as it's like all done up here, but whatever. So G, Z, and we can line the wheels up with the thing. Uh, make sure you have transparency on and then i'll put it to like 0.25 and then we go to top view drag I mean, g and x oh wait shortcut okay shortcut keys so you can see what i'm pressing down here okay cool so let's go to top view shift d uh, shift d and then press alt r r x 90 so we're going to front view now we need to get here Let's see. Yeah, it looks about about the middle. And then G and Z. And there. Okay, cool. So press G, Y, drag it back. Okay, cool. Let's go to side view. Shift, A, mesh, Q. Okay, cool. Scale this down and drag it up. And then go to front view. Control R. Select half. Delete vertices. Add a mirror modifier. Wait, and then we can actually drag this in and you get this perfectly lined up. There. Okay, cool. So, drag it in. We'll actually drag it out now. Okay, cool. So, let's go to side view and then we drag this on the Y axis and here on the Y axis. We'll actually just drag it from front to front to back. And just add edge loop in the middle. Okay, cool. This one will go over here. This one will be up here. This one will be here. Let's add another one over here. Just at the end of, uh, at the beginning of this little lump in the, I mean, the little wheel hub. Okay, cool. Add another edge loop. Drag it over here. Drag it into this piece here. Okay, cool. Let's actually drag this one forward and let's run forward as well. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So let's drag this in. Wait. So it looks like so it will go like this. So that means we have to add an edge loop over here. And then press J. Okay. So let's go to side view again. And we can drag this in. in. cool and then put this over here okay cool so now let's drag this one down as well and then drag this here so we can round off the back a bit okay cool well it's going to just actually shift shift d Drag this down to the bottom and rotate it. 90. Go to the top view. Okay, so now we need it rotated. Mm, 90. We need this to be negative. Cool. And then GX. And then we can line it up with the part over here. Okay, cool. So. Now we can line this up a bit better. There you go. Okay. Let's go to side view again. Let's add a edge loop and drag this up. And then we're going to have to make the wheel hub. So 
I'm assuming it's a wheel hub, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> so we already have this. So we just, uh, actually we can select these, press R for invert. I mean, in, in, yeah, insert. And then we can make the wheel hub here. It should actually be symmetrical, but whatever. So let's delete these vertices and then drag. Let's go to snapping and make this vertex, drag it down and then drag this one down as well with holding control to snap it to there. And then we can do this, uh, delete these edges. X, uh, e, X, drag us in, make sure clipping's on and then and get this to the middle okay and then select here f and select these two faces delete we just need to delete these vertices cool so let's extrude this in as well on the e or e okay f okay and then extrude y in x Okay, press F, F, okay cool. So now we have the wheel hub or whatever it's called. Then we can fold this in here. So we delete these faces and then join them up. There, okay. And then we do the same at the back. Also, if you want to remove the, the line, then go to view, uh, view, annotations and delete. And you can just delete that as well. Okay, so now we're going to do the back, so we can drag this over, press R, and then put it over here, put it for the wheel hub, there, and there, drag it in, what well, doesn't matter, you can delete these, okay, we're going to sort this out now, just wait. Um, can delete these. Here's yeah, go control Z to go underneath. Press X and then we can drag these out to be in line. So we can drag this out. Let's just S X zero. So you can see it's flat on the x-axis let's also drag this vertice in okay cool okay cool that looks good so now we can extrude this on the y-axis and then extrude this on the y-axis too and then ff Extrude in on the x-axis, control R, FF, we can double G to drag us along, okay, and then we can F, and then drag this in, X, X, and then extrude, and then on the x-axis, and then there, so we add another edge loop, actually, no, we don't need another edge loop, so we join these up, and join these up and then like that okay cool also let's go let's select these faces s x and zero and go side view okay cool so let's select this well let's round off the roof a bit GZ Let's drag this one down a bit to round it up more. Cool. So then drag this down. Uh, let's drag this one up. Okay, cool. And then we can select these two faces. R. Wait, actually. Um, so go out of beta mode. Apply this modifier, select this, and press R. Okay, cool. And then we can go into front view, delete. Well, actually, let's 
There's also a rear mirror, so let's select all four of these. Press R as well. Okay, cool. Now we can go back to front view, delete this half, delete vertices, and mirror modifier. Cool. So then now we have the two windows on well, the beginning of them. Um, there. Cool. And then this window's here, this window's over here. And not R, press E. And extrude it in, delete this face. Okay, cool. So, actually, I just want this to be up a bit more. So now let's fix the back window. Well not fix, work on it. Let's drag these over with double G and then just R. Not R. Select both E and then de delete this extra face over here. Okay, cool. So now we've got our two windows. Actually, let's redo that. I need that to be a bit deeper. That's looking good, cool. So now, okay, this, this should be rounded like that. So select these and drag it down. And let's also, well, first these shape is out. Okay, cool that looks nice so next off let's add well let's work on the we're going to add the actually that we can leave this well yeah let's leave let's make some side windows so we select we select these two press r actually yeah so select these two extrude in select this face uh, and then extrude it. Okay, cool, that's nice. So next, let's go to side view, shift A, add a cylinder. Let's change this to eight. Yeah. Now let's do eight, eight's fine. Okay, cool, so let's go into front view, R, Y, 90. Scale this down. And then side view. Wait, let's quickly put on shadows cavity. So now I can see. I can see where the wheel, the hub is, as you can see. Rotate it by, I think it's 22. No, 23. wheel in so let's drag this in and drag that in okay so now we have the wheel so now let's go add a mirror modifier a mirror object car and then go to the back view means side view and then slightly bigger car tire okay cool and then now you can see there so Let's press R. So let's make that point eight. Actually, uh, let's point seven, and then extrude that in, and then select the same R uh, point seven, extrude in. Okay, so now they're the same, and then actually 
let's let's delete this and then alt d and drag it on the y-axis which will make it an exact copy so now if i edit this one you'll see this one is a change so i can scale this up drag it up and then okay there you go so now let's select this good side view you can R and then extrude in scale it a bit R and then extrude and scale okay cool so there you go let's work on this bonnet a little bit Wait, let's select this, these two, drag it up. Okay, cool. Well, there you go, boys. We have a car. Yo, guys, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below saying if you enjoyed this video or not. Also, you can check out my Discord where you can set some renders, and yeah, cheers.